By now I have developed a uh, pattern of showing the books that I'm going to use for a specific self-teaching course. Uh, I've embarked on complex analysis uh, and I'm going to be talking about the books that I will be using. This is a before I use the books uh, video uh, and of course I always make an after the books video, uh, after the course books video, uh, which I'll be doing for a real analysis soon since I'm done with that first cycle. So here for complex analysis I will be reading from Saf and Snyder and I've already shown an update. I find it to be a really good book. Uh, I love the, the attitude in, from, wh uh, from which the authors come from. Uh, I'm let, me, let me show the contents. So it's got complex numbers, uh, analytic functions, elementary functions, the pre-complex integration. And so the th first three chapters are short, then, then all the other chapters are really long. Complex integration, of course, being uh, 79 pages long. And then you have uh, series, residues, conformal mapping, and uh, transforms, uh, which is really engineering applications. The book reads really well. Uh, I'm into chapter two. I'm finishing chapter two right now. And it is very readable. Uh, very readable. Lots of examples. Lots of easy problems so far. Maybe they're going to get more, more difficult. I imagine they will. Uh, there's a linkage between complex analysis and partial differential equations and I'm not showing here a partial differential equations book. I actually don't have one and I may end up having to get one. That has not yet happened. Then of course the classic, uh, sort of like the rudin of complex analysis, which is Alphers. And uh, interestingly, reading through Alphers, uh, unlike uh, Rudin, which I, I, I always have had a criticism that is very cryptic, uh, too succinct. In the case of Alphers, incredibly enough, Alphers is also succinct, brief, but more readable, way more readable, I am finding it. So actually, technically, I could have started self-teaching complex analysis from Alphers. I just felt that it was a little bit of a step higher, and it definitely feels that way. But uh, reading through the book, and I have begun to do what I used to do with Wade, which was to read and wait and then go and always check what uh, Rudin was saying. I've begun to do this with, uh, with Alphers, and it is actually a supremely readable book. I find this book to be completely readable, which does not happen to me with Rudin. When I read Rudin, I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't know, let me go read it somewhere else and then come back to it. Uh, and if you have to read something in another book to understand it, that book is not doing its job. And I think that is a flaw with Rudin, that Yes, it's got all the correct theories, and it's, it's really, really well done, but very difficult to read. That is not the case for Alphers, and it maps chapter by chapter very closely with, uh, with uh, Saf and Snyder. Complex numbers, complex functions, analytic functions, integration, right? Chapter 4, integration, uh, very long, series, conformal mapping, Elliptic functions, then it's, it's got additional stuff. Elliptic, elliptic functions, global analytic functions. So yeah, so definitely maps really well. I love it. Uh, then another great classic is Churchill and, Bra uh, and Brown, or Brown and Churchill. I think it's usually called Churchill and Brown. Well, anyways, maybe it's Brown and Churchill after all. And this one has a lot of engineering applications. It's got a ton of content. Again, complex numbers, analytic functions, Elementary functions, chapter four, integration. I see a pattern. Series, residues. Uh, then applications, of course, it's got a lot of en engineering. Uh, some mappings, some kind of like of the basics, conformal mapping, applications, and then additional uh, uh, content. So yeah, very good book also, uh, super readable. I've actually read from this book uh, here and there uh, many years ago. Uh, and I find it, yeah, I really want to use it. I really want to use it. And then there's a uh, European book, uh, Stuart and Tall, which has a different take, a slightly different take, but still begins the same way. It does have some topology, which I think is very interesting. So it's got your al typical algebra of uh, complex numbers, power series, differentiation, exponential function. And then what would have been a chapter four is here, a chapter six, integration. Uh, and really... Integration is broken up into more chapters because the next chapter that does series is really chapter 10. And so you have 
all these all this content in some way is in the integration chapters of the other book and the series ones are actually two separate chapters that the residues the, the mappings uh, analytical continuation infinitesimals again i think this is content that is unique uh, to this book i'll learn more as i read through uh, the book reads really really well i have an earlier edition that i can like take to the pool during the summer to read or take on trips i don't like to take on trips the books that i'll be reading just i don't know it's just my thing uh the book is excellently written uh it's got a lot of problems and so i'm looking forward to using it uh, once I get going with problems, and unlike uh, real analysis, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of problems. This, is, this content is a lot newer to me. Uh, then there's this book uh, about the, the uh, zeta function, which has various proofs of the prime number theorem, which is really the reason why I want to learn complex analysis. And I look through this book often, and uh, it's fairly cryptic to me right now. I need to understand a lot of complex analysis to be able to dig into this book, and I would like to. I really would like to. It's a Dover book, very cheap, um, and so it, it does assume. It assumes that you know complex analysis. It could be a book that I can only uh, read into after I've completed the entire self-teaching cycle on complex analysis. Uh, but yeah, it's got many, many different... Uh, takes on the prime number theorem and additional material and i yeah I, I plan to read it and then of course a uh, a beautiful book uh, by needham definitely a very different take very unique take on complex analysis he also ha has a companion book on differential geometry uh, which kind of like is, is a volume two if you will and uh it's the book is just incredibly well written i mean just exquisite uh, a lot of geometry, um, different take. It doesn't really follow. Um, it's not. I don't consider it a textbook. I consider it more like a concept, a concept book. It's got some exercises, but really, I, I don't think this would have been a good idea to use as a textbook for myself. It, it does a lot, a lot. There's a lot of deep uh, discussion on complex analysis with. Uh, beautiful diagrams so look at this differentiation is already uh, fairly well into the book but yeah actually i guess yeah complex integration so it, go, it has seven chapters before i guess it could be used as a book i don't know enough this is a before before i read and so i'm, I'm not schooled in the subject enough to speak to it uh, well but um, yeah this is a fantastically written book i have read some of it already uh, actually, I'm sorry. I've read from the differential geometry book. I take it back. But yeah, it's, I mean, the word visual in the title really uh, is given justice. It's got incredible diagrams. And of course, the differential geometry book also has beautiful, really instructive diagrams. Uh, and so this is a book that I plan to use for sure. And so unlike the real analysis uh, selection of books that I had at my disposal, Complex analysis is more concentrated, more specific. It's got a few things that you need to hit. Uh, it, I have a small number of books, all of which are really well written and really good, and I think can be used all at once. In the case of real analysis, um, I have more books, but I ended up using fewer books, I think. It's sort of weird, uh, and that's for another video. But this book is just... Uh, you know, a joy to behold and uh, to hold, and I plan to use it a lot. So those are my uh, complex analysis books, the before I embark on the course uh, video.